Um, and then collision, that's the sound that plays when you collide. So, we've covered all that. Um, now, playing it. Okay. Here's the function to play music. Mix, play music. Takes in two parameters. A, mix mu a pointer to mix music. And that's my pointer to it. Music. And then a number of loops. And that's basically how many times do you want the, mu the music to loop through until it stops. So if you put zero, it'll play through once and stop. If you put one, it'll play through once, play through another time, and then stop. If you put negative one, it'll loop indefinitely, so it'll keep looping until you stop it, which you'd stop it with mix halt music. Now you can't have different pieces of music playing at the same time. If you wanted to do, if you want to have different things playing at the same time, you got to use channels. You basically only have like one music channel. Um, so down here, when it collides, I use mix play channel, and this takes three parameters. The first one is the channel you want it to play on. The second is the mix chunk, and the last one is how many loops. I put zero loops because it's the sound you usually want it to just play once and then stop. Um, this is the sound piece. I already loaded it up there when you saw it. But this first parameter is what I really want to focus on. It's the channel. So you can put any number channel, but you want to make sure that channel is allocated. I think uh, when you use mix open audio, you're automatically allocated uh, eight channels, I think. Something like that it should say in the S in the mixer documents, but I don't want to go check it right now. But uh, there's a function you can use to allocate more. Um, but anyways, negative one basically says play this on the first channel that's available. What this function is, what this function returns though, is the channel it's playing on, and that's actually useful because if you use negative one then uh, it, you don't know what channel it's going to play on. So it's going to return the channel it's playing on. So if you wanted to keep track of what sound is playing on what channel, that'd be useful. Um, I do the same thing right here. That's just if it... Uh, this is when it collides on either right or left side, and this is uh, top or bottom. Um, here's where I put everything onto the screen. So I just have some simple calls to SDL Blitz Surface. Fill rec to draw the rectangle of the screen, and then I update. And then again, here's freeing everything. Mix halt channel takes in a channel. Uh, if you put negative one in there, it halts every channel. And this is where that whole keeping track of the channel sound is playing on uh, comes into play. Because if you wanted to halt a particular sound or piece, whatever then you'd need to know what uh, it was playing on. In my framework I made, uh, I keep track of what channel it's playing on because I made my own class for the sound. It has the sound, its own channel, and its own volume. So, there's some other functions I don't have in there from SDL Mixer that are actually useful, so I'm just going to show you them real quick. Um, right here anything right here has to do with channels if you want to know how to do a bunch of different certain things about channels it's all right here I mean you have great stuff uh, you can allocate more channels with this you can set the volume on a certain channel with this you can uh, play on a channel you can fade in your music pause it resume it halt it expire fade out um, you can use this this is a playback f uh, function, callback I mean. Um, so basically you pass in a function and this function is what's going to be called whenever a channel's done playing pretty much. So you can uh, specify the channel too. So that's useful. I don't use that though. Um, you can also get the chunk playing on a channel. That's cool. You can group up your music and sounds.
I don't use that though. But basically, there's just so many different things you can do with the SDL mixer. I haven't really done too much with it, but I just want to show you some basics.